I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Miles Barstead and Daniel Warp. Uh, tell me a little bit about Dim the Fluorescence. What was the inspiration behind this film? Uh, I was doing sort of corporate video work for quite a while and I became kind of excited by the idea of actors who do role-playing demonstrations. So the actors are brought in in office conferences or things like that to sort of demonstrate why you know, workplace safety is important or things like that. And I became very interested in the process of that. And I think Miles and I bonded over our uh, interest in that. Great. And Miles, tell me a little bit about how you two met and started working together. Uh, well, uh, we had some Tinder. Yeah. That, <laughs> listen, it was a long time ago um, and we play moderately hard. Um, <laughs> No, uh, we met several years ago through a mutual friend. Uh, I was a musician. I am a musician. You and uh, <laughs> thank you. Still. I just thought I should, I should check. Um, great. That's good to know. Um, uh, yeah, so we, we had mutual friends in common. And then uh, we started watching movies together. And then I wrote a play for some reason that Daniel read and liked. And uh, from there, our relationship has kind of blossomed. Great. Oh. It's, uh, I love it. <laughs> thank you. I love it, too. I'm a pretty big fan. And uh, on the Indiegogo page, uh, there's, well, there's a pitch video, which is I'm super impressed because it's done in one take, and you, your actors are moving through describing all the different aspects of a production. Yes. But tell me about shooting this pitch video and what, why you chose to do such an ambitious uh, video. Well, a lot of people will suggest that maybe you shouldn't do an Indiegogo pitch video with 24 speaking parts, but um, and I would I would second that. Don't do that. But um, I I don't know why we just found it really hard to come up with something good to say sitting in front of a camera. So we 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 decided we had to do something visually interesting and stylized to try and communicate. Uh, we were hoping that that would communicate what the movie was going to be like more than anything we could really say. Absolutely. Yeah. It was very well done. I'm still mind boggled by it. <laughs> um, and Miles, as well, co writer and also composer of the film, in terms of your musical process, uh, have you already started? Has it been something that you've been working on along the way? Well, um, we shot a demo last fall that we also scored. So, in a way, I've kind of sketched out the themes that I want to develop and the kinds of things, the kinds of qualities that I'm going for. Mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, the rest of it is just Daniel threatening me on a regular basis. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's interesting to have that kind of a collaboration both as a writer and a, and a composer. Okay. Uh, so I feel like I have some, some leeway. It's a work in progress. Okay. If if people give us money, I will write the music. Okay. It's a threat. Is that a? I thought I, I thought I thought it was a promise, but it turned out to be a threat. Yeah. That always happens to me. I don't I don't understand. Where is the line between promise and threat? Um. Anyway. Floor in this yeah, interview. That's what it's about. In this interview and in the film. Yeah. It's a promising, threatening film. There you go. It's a very promising very threatening film. And speaking of the film, um, your actresses yes. are amazing in the pitch video. So tell me a little bit about them and how they got involved in the project. Uh, Claire and Naomi, who are our two leads, are kind of darlings of the Toronto theater scene, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, Claire just won a Dora um, for a production of After Miss Julie, and Naomi was just in Sheila Hetty's play, which was, was pretty big here, and then also went to uh, New York. Um, yeah, I've been a big fan of them both for years, and I'm excited to make a movie where they talk to each other a lot. Great. And tell me about some of the perks for the Indiegogo campaign. When we donate, what do we receive? Wanna, you want to go with that? I, I, can, I think I can handle this. Uh, well, we have everything from at the bottom, a thank you, which means so much. Yeah. Coming from us, stars with power, uh, <laughs> to... Uh, to speaking parts in the film for twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah, we twenty bucks. I mean, I mean, there you go. yeah, you can get a digital digital download of the eventual film. You can get a DVD. These are all things that you would expect. Uh, at the seven hundred and fifty dollar level, we have an animatronic Blue Jay 
that will feature heavily in the film. Uh, so snap that up, somebody. Yeah, and, and that's going at market value. We're not going to make a profit on We're the Blue Jay. We're not going to gouge on the Jay. No. Yeah. No. It's a straight, we break even on the Blue Jay, I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And also uh, producer credits for anyone who uh, wants to pad their IMDb. Great. Why not? Sure. Anyone can be a producer. You just have to give just funds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just give it, it, give it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy. Sorry yeah. to our producers. Yeah. No, our producers are very effective and highly motivated people yeah. who provide us with so much. Mm-hmm. Josh. <laughs> he may be standing behind the camera. Okay. And where's... <laughs> share on the Indiegogo. He's earned his right to be here. Yep. And where's the best place for us to follow the project and learn how we, where we can contribute online? Well, there is a Facebook um, page. That's just facebook.com slash dim the fluorescence. Fluorescence is UO. Sometimes people don't know that. Um, <laughs> was that patronizing? I didn't mean to, to, it no. to be. A lot of really smart people don't know how to spell dim the fluorescence. We so didn't. It's not, it's I not think until we decided that it was the title, uh, which we never really did, it just kind of happened this way. But we, I like it. I love it. Yeah. It's grown on me like a. We try not to use the acronym too much. Um, dim, so we've got Facebook. Oh. Uh, <laughs> let, let, Give me a second. Um, we have an Instagram if you just want to gaze uh, at, at, at visual aspects of the film. There's a really good picture of us. Yeah. Oh, I have a cell phone. Our okay. phones are blowing <laughs> up right now. It's okay. You, These interviews do that to people. That's right. Yeah. Is that it's Hollywood? Um, yeah. um, James Cameron. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a dimlafluorescence.com as well. But, um, yeah, and then our Indiegogo URL is the handy short URL that, that Indiegogo has is igg.me slash at slash dimlafluorescence, all one word. Okay, very good. I'll remember that. Who wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so just well, a jumble you, of consonants. If you yeah. go to Indiegogo and search Dim the Fluorescence, we're going to be among the top things that show up, I think. Great. Just go to Indiegogo. We're among the top things. Okay. I mean, in my heart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, and best of luck with the film. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank Thanks you. for having us, Katie. Thank you. I'm Katie Ellman, reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Thanks for watching the show. If you like it, please, please subscribe. Also, when I'm not interviewing, I am an actress. And if you would like to check out some of my acting, you can click here. Uh, Thanks again, guys.